I'm here because carbon dioxide is killing the world, literally. Our emissions today are 45% higher than our pre-industrial levels. On an annual basis, we're emitting 32 gigatons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere every year. And to make matters worse, the average surface temperature of the Earth is at an all-time high, which is causing disastrous flooding in low-lying areas such as Bangladesh, where I was born. So what can we do about this, given that the residence time, the time that CO2 stays in the atmosphere, is about 50 years? Is it likely that humans will change their habits and use less energy? Unless we all start driving Teslas from today, that seems like a bleak possibility. The answer lies with convective dissolution, and that's where my research comes in. The process starts with injecting carbon dioxide from power plants and other pollutant sources in deep reservoirs located several kilometers beneath the Earth's surface. At these depths, the carbon dioxide behaves almost like a liquid and rises through the reservoir much like smoke from a candle. And just like the smoke spreading on a ceiling, the carbon dioxide begins to spread upon impact with a cap rock. And it is here that convective dissolution takes place due to the mixing of carbon dioxide with reservoir salt water. With enough disturbances at this interface, it leads to the formation of dense fingers of carbon dioxide rich salt water which trickle back down into the reservoir that results in permanent trapping for thousands and thousands of years. And in my research with Dr. Morris Flynn, I've developed simple yet robust flow models that are experimentally tested to predict the complex motions of the fingers and the spreading tongue of the carbon dioxide under the cap rock. With considerable accuracy, my models predict that not only is the effectiveness of storage exponentially higher with dissolution, but the maximum distance traveled by the spreading tongue of the carbon dioxide under the rock gets significantly reduced, which lowers any chances of leakage to the upper layers and up to the surface. In conclusion, convective dissolution can permanently trap carbon dioxide in deep porous reservoirs in a safe and stable manner. And in the context of Alberta alone, there are 565 oil reservoirs and 22 gas reservoirs deep enough for dissolution trapping to take place. My research is funded by the government of Alberta, who are keenly interested in starting a pilot project based on the results of my studies. The success of these early pilots can then be scaled up to meet the emission standards of Canada nationally and keep her in line with meeting the sustainable development goals. Thus, as Albertans, let's take a stand. Let's roll up our sleeves and set an example for the rest of the world. Thank you.